Hello, everybody. Thank you for watching. It is the American Doofus Show. Don't be a doofus. I'm your host, Barry Welsh. We're updating two stories that uh, we touched on yesterday. First of all, we're going to go to um, Iran. As uh, yesterday, we reported that a uh, we, we, we reported that one of Iran's uh, if not the largest warship in the Iranian arsenal uh, fleet uh, had sunk and it sunk after a mysterious fire erupted supposedly in the engine room. Just moments after that, this happened and also in Iran. This is, a, uh, this is the largest refinery in uh, Tehran and uh, fire and explosions uh in the oil refinery in tehran is this just a coincidence that uh, these two incidents happened within uh within hours of each other on the on the same day and on top of uh everything else that has been happening um in iran there were there have been uh the factory where centrifuges were um uh, uh were made an important component in uh, nuclear weaponry that was blown up. A, uh, the factory that made the drones in Iran, that was attacked. Then the warship and uh, then the refinery. Um, either Iran is, um, is, not, is not very good at taking care of things or they are uh, under a uh, sabotage or possible commando attacks. Uh, only time will tell, but we do need to keep an eye on that. And uh, we will be doing so here on the American Doofus Show. Don't be a doofus. Please subscribe, like, share, comment if you would, and uh, hit the notification button. Uh, the, the next story we're updating is about the uh, 12 and 14 year old children who uh, were involved in a shootout with police. Well, terrifying new details on a shootout between two children and Volusia County deputies. And this comes as a 12 year old arrested in the case just went before a judge for the first time virtually. Mr. O'Brien, you are charged with armed burglary of a dwelling structure or conveyance. You're also a you're also charged with attempted first degree murder of a law enforcement officer. And I'm going to order that you be held in secure detention for 21 days or until further order of the court. As you can hear, the judge took the time to clearly explain all of 12 year old Travis O'Brien's rights as a boy looked on and listened silently. Mark Lehman is live at the juvenile detention center right now and Mark deputies say in this incident they had no choice but to return fire. Oh, yeah, Sheriff Mike Chitwood says they did everything they could to avoid injuring either of the children. Their ages really hitting home after seeing the youthful appearance of that 12-year-old boy as he faced a judge for the first time. That hearing coming hours after body camera video of the shootout was released. And here is, uh, here is some of that body cam footage. We had the whole body cam footage, uh, but this is just an expert excerpt. Seeing as a long gun pointed toward me. I have to hold my cover. In newly released body camera video, we're hearing the initial moments as a Volusia County deputy takes direct fire from a 14 and 12 year old. Damn. While taking cover behind a tree, the deputy can be heard anticipating the worst. Don't let me do this. Investigators identifying the suspects as 14-year-old Nicole Jackson and 12-year-old Travis O'Brien. They say the two broke into the Enterprise home, finding the owner's AK-47 shotgun and pistol. He advised that the 14-year-old made a statement, I'm going to roll this down like GTA. GTA is Grand Theft Auto, a popular video game. Referring to the video game Grand Theft Auto. Deputies say they had no choice but to shoot the girl after she came outside pointing a gun at them. They're then heard as they rush in trying to save the girl's life. Hey, what's your name, sweetie? What's your name? Come on, I believe in my heart she's still alive today because of the first treatment she received from the deputies. 
We're told that 14-year-old is stable at Arnold Palmer Hospital. The 12-year-old, Travis O'Brien, Orion, uh, again, he is ordered to be held for 21 days here at the uh, Juvenile Detention Center. As for those eight deputies involved in the shootout, they have been placed on administrative leave, which is standard as the state investigates. For so there we go. That's uh, the latest from uh, the latest from now reporting live in Volusia County. Mark Lehman getting results. Shootout between two. A shootout between. The it's uh, it's almost mind blowing when you look at that when you look at that young twelve year old face, and uh, it's. Uh, it's not the only 12 year old. If you do a quick Google uh, or you do a search on, on YouTube or, or other platforms, you'll find numerous 12 year olds have been uh, in court for various, various things that it's just a sign of, of how dark our, our world really is. And um, I want to pose a question. This is uh this is tough talk. This is uncomfortable talk. Um, a lot of people, when they heard a 12 and 14 year old were involved in a shootout with police, a lot of people automatically assumed they were young black children and, uh, and they weren't. Now that doesn't mean the people that made that assumption are bad people or anything like that. It just means that that's the conditioning our society has put upon us in many circumstances. And it's just something to think about. It's the American Doofus Show. Don't be a doofus. I'm your host, Barry Welsh. We'll be back shortly with more. Until then, it's a dark world. Try to be a light. It is the American Doofus Show. Don't be a doofus.